Squid says Rainbow has a bit, had a bigger community than you guys are leading on. No, it wasn't Halo, but Vegas 2 had a large and steady community for years. I, I think we have different definitions of large. Large, yeah. Like, it, had, it had an active community. You could find games. It's not like it was hard to find games or anything. Uh, personally, I think the biggest, proportionally, the Rainbow's ever been was like back in the Xbox days. Um, like, had, yes. <sighs> like oh. a team, when you had team compete and some of the other ladder sites before game battles, and it was like just Rainbow, pretty much. Rainbow and Ghost Recon. It's like that was the highest it probably was, like proportionally to other titles. But I think uh, if you try to compare it to Gears even, which Gears is like a really low bar to compare it to, I think, for game population, and Gears was blowing it out of the water. Yeah. I, uh, so, yeah, Vegas, Squid, I mean, that's exactly what we mentioned. We said before some of the other titles came out, Rainbow was, wasn't was bad. You know, like I said, Tom Clancy's Ghost, Ghost uh, Advanced Warfare or whatever, Ghost Recount Advanced Warfare, it's Graw, yeah. That was out, and that was pretty popular. And I felt like Rainbow was probably about that that level at its peak. But uh, I, I don't feel like we're leading anyone on with saying that uh, the the community relative to, to the landscape was smaller than everything else that was out. Now, we're not saying that it wasn't a sizable community um, or a dead community, but it definitely, definitely was not larger than Call of Duty, Halo, Gears of War, Saints Row probably at at some point in time, or even now, like if you if you say it's it's might be on par with it, maybe. Um, so I mean, it's definitely not a a a, a triple, like a, a a triple A like mega blockbuster in terms of titles. It was a popular game, but I just feel like it's kind of a flash in the pan. So whatever whatever they get, they capitalize on right now, I think is going to largely spur from how much. I think attention that some of the streamers and stuff are are going to uh, get from them, more YouTubers or whoever decides to pick it up. I just don't know if it's not one they're going to stick with it. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to stick with it, right? That's that's yeah. going to be an issue. And two, as soon as something else drops, they're gone, right? Like it's not even a matter of whether or not they'll stick with it. Like they might make a, a video every now and again, but like as soon as something else drops, they're gone. That's the thing. And then, then you're really only left with the people that, that play the very, very hardcore uh, Rainbow Six fans. No, but it wasn't dead in a month, like Colin said. Dead's probably the wrong term. But when you have... I think there was 24 teams at an MLG event after Vegas 2 dropped. I think like the very next event afterwards was like 24 teams. They, they, they like rarely broke 32 teams for MLG events. And that, that's at the height of competitive stuff when Gears was pulling in a hundred and something, a hundred to, I say anywhere from eighty to a hundred teams. Halo was pulling in Halo's like two hundred and something, yeah. and Rainbow had twenty four. Like we were in the thick of it, Squid. Like we were there. Like we were there. <laughs> like you can't. I, I mean, I, look. Yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't say dead. There's obviously play, people to play with, and you're able to get matches. There was a competitive scene, uh, but to say it was like. Alive would be a stretch. Like it was, it was there. It was there. Uh, to me, it would be like the same size community of. Uh, I don't know. There's like tons of like free to play shooters with similar size communities. Like what Rainbow was, in my opinion. Like Combat Arms would be like a <laughs> kind of like the comparison I would draw. Yeah, 31 teams, 2008 Orlando. I like. I don't think they've broke 32 more than once in all the Rainbow MLG events. You were pissed when Rainbow Six Patriots was canceled. I don't. I just don't know if uh, I don't know if it'll have the legs. I really like the. I, at times, I like the gameplay. I do like what Siege has to offer. I did like a lot of things that they were. A lot of the gadgets seems like make some compelling gameplay. Uh. It'll be curious to see like how one dimensional it gets over time, I, as far as like yes. which ones you can actually run with. Yep, because uh, it seems like it'd be pretty easy to get to a point where it's uh, you only really have like three or four to pick from. Yeah, that that's what I was kind of concerned with after watching Com play. Was I was like, hmm, I wonder when people are going to stop with the novelty of just using everything and then use what's actually really good, right? Because I feel like that's probably what's going to the the ultimate 
uh, meta is going to be. Let me use these two or three things, and then if they're not if they're not keeping up with balance for the game because the community isn't there, then you're going to have an issue of the game being not balanced because they don't have the community to put in the resources that they need because they're not generating money in order to to make it worthwhile, right? So it could be a vicious cycle for the game, but I. Like I said, I, I, I like the, uh, the the gameplay. Uh, I think that it will be... I think it'll be a tough road ahead for uh, Siege. I don't know. I still don't know whether or not I'm going to purchase the game based off of what I saw. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to hear what Calm has to say about the game. Because he's... I mean, he got to play it. Um, so... You want to hear his thoughts after playing a bunch? I, I think that uh, getting Compact Killer's thoughts on the game would actually be pretty good. So... Maybe we get him on the show next week. Talk about a little bit about it. See what he thought. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, made it this far, leave a like if you've not already. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate your support. Subscribe if you've not already so you guys can check my next video. And if you've missed anything, especially this video right here, go check it out. Just click. Click, click, click.